It all starts with this census data from 1880, 1910, and 1930. As we examined three separate neighborhoods and we were looking at immigration and how the settlement patterns happened in those neighborhoods. So it was kind of interesting to take Janice Ziegler's work, which kind of was the inspiration for this project with the Tremont area, and then moving a little bit further out of the, the inner city to the Lakewood neighborhood, which is what I focused on with my students, and then moving even, even further out with the Bay Village area, where the other two teachers who we collaborated with uh, focused on that area. We wanted to look at how did all of the population change from industrialism into suburbanization between these three neighborhoods. That was the, the basic goal of the project, to engage in census data and analysis of everything from use of land, commercial use or non-commercial use as it was with Bay Village, to ethnic groups, diversity of population, so on and so forth. From my perspective, it was just a way to show change over a period of time, changing occupations, growth of a community, and so forth by using a census as an, as an introduction, if you will, for students to the census. By exploring the census data for the Cleveland area or for Tremont or Lakewood, or even better for Bay Village for the Bay Village student and resident, that it opens up not just somebody else's social history, but their own social history. Right. We have families in Bay that have been there for a long, long mm -hmm. time. And it's a tremendous light bulb, aha, eureka moment for them to realize that they are part of that history. For my students, it was something that was more personal to them. Even though we were trying to get them to move their mindset back in time, uh, at the same time it was more meaningful to them because it was something that was literally less than a mile from where we were sitting in my classroom. I worked with my students on this and, and they're actually what has caused me to go off into the local uh, arena because of their curiosity. And they just started looking at population compared to uh, number of schools in the area. And they, the, the thought process of, okay, movement of people equals change in city government, change in uh, services provided, and it, it was pretty fascinating. Um, and, and again, I think this happened organically. I'm more excited now that they've shown me what they're capable of doing, now I can actually plan.